Did you know 90% of online experiences start with a Google search? Let me show you how to turn that into your biggest advantage with Google Ads. And trust me, it's easier than you think once you know the hacks. Today, we're getting into the nitty-gritty of Google Ads, but not the boring, complicated kind. Google Ads is powerful, but let's not sugarcoat it. It's confusing for a lot of advertisers. The platform keeps evolving with new tools, AI features, and bidding strategies, which is great if you can keep up. The challenge? It's easy to feel overwhelmed. Figuring out how to target the right people, choosing the best ad formats, and making sure you're not just throwing money at clicks that don't convert can feel like a full-time job. And then there's the competition. Businesses everywhere are fighting for attention on the same keywords, which means your strategy has to be smarter, faster, and more efficient than ever. And today, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So, what's new with Google Ads in 2025? First, AI-driven tools are the headline. Google's machine learning doesn't just help you predict user behavior anymore. It actively adjusts bids, ad placements, and even keywords in real time. It's your personal marketing assistant who never sleeps, optimizing your campaigns 24-7 so you don't have to micromanage every detail. Next, let's talk ad formats. Performance Max campaigns are a big deal. Think of them as your one-stop shop to run ads everywhere Google exists. Search, YouTube, Gmail, Display, you name it. And the best part? Google's algorithms do the heavy lifting, deciding where to place your ads for maximum impact. And we can't skip targeting options. The level of precision you can achieve now is wild. Detailed demographics, custom segments, and in-market audiences, you're no longer guessing who your ideal customer is. You can laser focus on people who are ready to buy. All of this adds up to one thing, smarter campaigns with better results. Results. But the trick is knowing how to use these tools without wasting time or money. That's what we're covering next. All right, let's roll up our sleeves and get into the nuts and bolts of setting up your first Google Ads campaign. Don't worry, I'll keep it quick and easy. Step one, switch to expert mode. When you start, Google will try to spoon feed you with smart mode. Ignore it. Click switch to expert mode. This gives you full control over your campaign. Why settle for training wheels when you can drive the car? Step two, choose a campaign goal and type. Next, Google's gonna ask, what's your goal? You can pick something like leads or website traffic, but if you're unsure, select create a campaign without a goal's guidance. For the campaign type, go with a search campaign. These are the simple text ads that pop up when people search for stuff on Google. Super effective and great for beginners. Step three, set your budget and bidding. This is where we set how much you're willing to spend. Start with a daily budget. $10 works great if you're testing the waters. Google will spread it out over the month, so don't worry about overspending. For bidding, go with manual CPC to control how much you're paying per click. Set a max bid. $1 is a safe start. This way, you're not burning through your budget on one click. Step four, targeting your audience. Now let's make sure the right people see your ad. Go to campaign settings and pick where you want your ads to show, countries, cities, or even a specific radius. Then, under location options, change the targeting from presence or interest to just presence. This way, only people physically in that location see your ad. No more wasted clicks from random searches halfway across the world. There are also a bunch of other options for advanced users, like audience segments. But we'll leave that for another, more advanced tutorial. Step 5. Keyword and Asset Generation this is where Google Ads AI steps into the game. This tool will help you with the most crucial steps of your campaign. First, you need to add some assets. When you click Add Assets, you'll go through a few steps to define the product or service you want to promote with your Google Ads campaign. This step is important because the AI tool will generate keyword and headline ideas based on this information. So, make sure to do it right. For this example, I'll randomly add a laptop. Next, I'll use the AI tool to generate a few more headline ideas and add a random description so you can see the process. Here, you'll also define your keywords with the help of AI. This ensures that you cover all your bases without wasting money on irrelevant searches. Write your ads. This is where your creativity kicks in. Write three strong headlines, such as top-rated laptops or upgrade your laptop today. Craft two descriptions that highlight your key selling points. Naturally include keywords to improve your ad's quality score. Preview how your ad looks on both mobile and desktop to ensure it's sharp everywhere. And again, you can always use AI to generate ideas and then refine them with your own creativity. It's really straightforward. If you have some basic information about your campaign, you can complete the whole process pretty quickly with the help of AI. Once this is done and I click next, the next step is budgeting. Step 6. Budget 
Google Ads will suggest budget options for your campaign, but as I mentioned, I believe it's best to start with a low budget for a startup ad campaign. This allows you to see how it performs before scaling up, at least until you gain more experience in running campaigns. I will set a custom budget of $10. Step 7. Publish your campaign. Now, you're ready to publish your campaign. On this page, you can review all the details of your campaign and publish it if you're satisfied. Quick pro tips. Before you wrap up, here are a few golden rules. Disable display networks unless you want your ad to show up on random websites. You can do this in a few simple steps that I will show you right now. 1. Go straight to your campaigns tab. 2. Select the campaign where you want to disable the display network. 3. Click settings and find the networks tab. Click on display network and disable it. Click save. Set a start and end date for your campaign so you don't accidentally run ads indefinitely. Follow these steps. 1. Go to your campaigns tab. 2. Find the campaign where you want to add an end date. 3. Click on the settings button. Find the start and end dates tab. 5. Add an end date. Click save. Keep an eye on Google's recommendations. They're not always perfect, but some are worth trying. And that's it. You're ready to publish your first Google Ads campaign. Google will review your ads, and once they're live, you're officially in the game. The real fun starts with optimizing, but hey, you're off to a great start. Here's the big takeaway for 2025. AI and data analytics are so much more than just novelty tools now. They're the secret weapon for better ad performance and ROI. Imagine this. Google Ads is like a massive chessboard. AI is the player that sees 10 moves ahead. It analyzes user behavior, predicts intent, and adjusts your campaigns in real time to get the best possible outcome. For example, smart bidding does a lot more than just setting a bid. It learns when, where, and how much to bid for every click so you don't overspend while maximizing your reach. Then there's data analytics. Google's insights have leveled up. With detailed reports on everything from audience behavior to ad performance, you're not guessing what's working. You're acting on hard data. It's like turning on the lights in a room you've been stumbling around in. The key here? Embracing these tools. Don't fight the system. Instead, just work with it. When you leverage AI and analytics the right way, you're not just running ads, you're running a smart, scalable system that works 24-7 to grow your business. And honestly, who doesn't want that? Here's the deal. Google Ads in 2025 isn't rocket science, but it's also not a set it and forget it game. Use the new tools like AI and smarter targeting to stay ahead. Keep tweaking your campaigns and focus on what works. Do that, and you're not just running ads, you're running results-driven campaigns that get noticed. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips to level up your digital marketing game. Got questions or ideas? Drop them in the comments, I'd love to hear them. And don't miss the next video, it's packed with more strategies to keep you ahead in 2025.